We are recording. Welcome to Conversations with Deborah, uh, bilingual, uh, bico I always want to say bilingual, a bicoastal dialogue. It could be a bilingual dialogue because sometimes we be. really don't speak the same language. All right. Uh, this is Malcolm Berman, and you're on malcolmpresents.com. And this is Deborah Manning, who is my co host. And we talk about everything under the sun. Some things yes, we agree upon and many things we don't agree upon. Yes, we do. Yeah. I'm Deborah Manning. I'm a native Southern Californian, moved out of uh, California. Uh, we're coming up now on my sixth anniversary here. My husband and I and two cats moved across the country. Uh, now six years ago, in fact, yesterday is our sixth anniversary that we signed our loan documents on a home that we had never seen. But I had great faith in my husband. Uh, he's a handyman, and uh, he did a fantastic job fixing this place up. It's a 1948 uh, uh, bungalow here in uh, South Carolina. It's been an absolute pleasure to be here. I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. I love it. It reminds me so much of the way Southern California used to be in the 80s and the 90s. We have uh, quite a mixed community here. And uh, all we really could afford was, uh, you know, a small little house just north of uh, Greenville downtown. But uh, I'm wearing my Halloween uh, orange and we're expecting lots and lots of kids to be coming to the neighborhood, which will be nice because at COVID time, nobody of course could come through, but we're expecting dozens and dozens of kids to come through. So we're, we're ready to go. <laughs> sure. Anyway, I was, I, I was a little bit blue today uh, because of all the political things that have been going on. And I decided that, okay, I think we're going to have Thanksgiving early. Mm -hmm. So went down earlier in the week, took our frozen turkey, butterball turkey out. And uh, my dear husband, Fish, is in there now completing the rest of the turkey with fingerling potatoes, with uh, uh, homemade cranberry sauce and uh, Brussels sprouts. And so uh, as soon as I get off the air here, I will be celebrating Thanksgiving just a little bit early. And I will be, I'm very thankful for the things that, uh, that I have. I'm, we're, we're plainly, plainly middle-class, just like you. And it's just been a pleasure being able to discuss so many different topics with you, Malcolm. We, we go back, my gosh, 20 years, yeah. long, long time. He was my radio producer with my late husband, Tom. And we had a program called Real Money. And we talked about how middle class people could get a handle on their finances and actually could be treated like the big, big wigs. And uh, we should probably explore some of those things. Actually, what I was suggesting to you is maybe to do a daily, maybe not daily, maybe several mm -hmm. times a week, like a 10 minute show, maybe based on the market and the stock it, market. It, observations of Deborah. Well, thank you. I'm not an investment counselor of any type, no, no, but. No. Uh, I've done okay, and of course, with this market, uh, it's it's not tough to be able to to do okay. But I think a lot of people get very frightened about the stock market because uh, uh, you you can certainly lose. But uh, there's techniques to be able to, to, uh, to make I, sure. I, I, I get frightened that when years ago when I was in the stock market, I just I mean not that heavily invested, maybe a few sure. thousand, maybe five five ten the most. Yeah. Uh, my, my nerves couldn't take the waiting and the holding and, you know, like it, you know, it went down one day, went up another day. I much like betting on horse races. You know, <laughs> you, you do, you, you, you tout the horse that you want, you figure out the odds and mm -hmm. uh, you, you put your money down and in uh, uh, three minutes, two, three minutes, it's over. You win <laughs> or you lose. That's true. I mean, well, uh, the stock, well, the stock market has been very interesting now because you can buy portions of stock now. Uh, today, of course, Apple came out with very disappointing sales, as did Amazon, very disappointing sales. But once again, I've, uh, the people that, that actually talk to me about stocks and, and what have you, um, I advise them just to just stay calm about things. You've got to think about it. Amazon is, is not going out of business. In fact, they at this point right now are uh, hiring their own ships to be able to get the cargo in. Mm -hmm. Uh, same thing with Apple. They're doing the exact same thing. In fact, they're starting to make their own chips because the semiconductor chip situation has been in short supply. So these are uh, companies that have cash and they have good management. And uh, even though they went down uh, today, they went down dramatically today. 
could be an opportunity to buy a little portion of those shares. So well, can, I, can I you, advise people. Can you buy half a share? Oh my lord, yes. Oh, so yeah. if Apple, what, what is Apple selling at a full share? Uh, it, was, it went down into the 140s. So can today. you buy half a share for $70? Yeah. You bet. That's interesting. And you, you don't know who you're sharing it with. It's an, an, an anonymous uh, partner. No, 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 no. It's just that you're, you're buying a half portion of a share. For example, I had bought some uh, some Amazon and I can't afford it. Amazon's in the $3,000 range. I can't afford that. But I can afford 0.213 uh, share. And it's treated as though it, I get a certain proportion as the shares go up or go down. Mm -hmm. I share in that certain proportion. So oh, it's so, very so interesting. You, you don't have to share a... a, a... I want one one point with somebody. No, no, no. It's sharing is not sharing is not. It's it's called a, it's the share actually is a portion of the company itself. So no, you're not sharing with anybody. No, because <laughs> I'd be glad to you know if you like something, I'd be glad to share with you. Oh. <laughs> We'll, 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 we'll buy one. We'll buy one stock, and we'll we'll, we'll break it up. I, I know three, four people will, will you know, can do it. <laughs> well, it's been funny because uh, uh, you know I've been very cautious about my portfolio, but I figured what the heck uh, to kind of tiptoe my way on in. And what's been very interesting is to watch how certain uh, sectors will go up or go down. So in other words, if if the the big tech is up. I'll notice that, for example, my shares of uh, like a steel company uh, will go down. And yet today, steel is up. In fact, um, US Steel reported their best earnings in seven years. That's very impressive. And as a result, it went sky high. So I bought, bought a portion. I had already bought a portion uh, several months ago. But it's one of those situations where you just kind of wait things out. And the other thing that you end up doing is you think things through. What are the products that you use? What are the products that, that your neighbors use? And you just stay aware of things. I bought some AMC and everybody laughed about that, AMC. Well, AMC is doing okay. Now I know it's called a meme stock, which is part of the Robin Hood ape crew, as they call it now. And uh, the stock has gone up and down. However, they have done very well because their management team has been um, very creative, not in a bad way but uh, been very good about uh, looking into the reopening trade. People want to get out. Uh, I mentioned to you a couple of weeks ago that we uh, attended something called a, a Fall for Greenville. And it was a, a Main Street um, open air situation where there was 45 to 50 of the different restaurants. There must have been, and I'm not joking, 250 to 300,000 people there. Nobody was wearing masks. And everybody was saying it's going to be a super spreader event for COVID. No, nothing. Nothing happened. We have not had an increase. And in fact, the Delta virus has been going down dramatically. Unfortunately, it's moving up into the New York and Connecticut, and New Jersey area, which is unfortunate. Was but the event outdoors or indoors? It was outdoors, but keep in mind, we were basically shoulder to shoulder. So we were not socially distanced in no. any way, shape or form. And but no but one something I heard... heard I forgot someone said today, I heard on the radio that 80 to 90 percent of the uh, uh, transference of, uh, you know, the COVID is uh, uh, indoors. Yeah. Uh, outdoors, outdoors, you're more or less protected. It's not this maybe 10 percent of it. Yeah, you can get it. Interesting. Well, that's, that's possible. That's well, possible. We, we, we learned something new each day, which, you know, everybody said, well, why did they say this a month ago? Because a month ago, they didn't know it. Yeah. 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 Although... Although I must say that uh, moving on to some of the political things, I am very, very concerned about the Democratic Party. And I'm a, an about uh, independence, uh, although I do have a tendency of going more on the conservative side of things because that's just the way I've been. Um, I am concerned about the Democratic Party. I am concerned at the problem with the progressives uh, overwhelming the middle of the road, the uh, Kristen suit cinemas and the Joe Mansions and what have you. President Biden put out a $1.7 trillion uh, revised bill. Um, and right. what concerns me at this point right now is that there are still a number of things that are in that bill, uh, such things as amnesty for illegal aliens and not in the bill, but news reports just came out this morning and it's caused quite a hubbub 
on all the social media, because I'm on Facebook and Twitter and blah, 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 and all of that, uh, that uh, the Biden administration is considering giving $450,000 to each and every individual uh, migrant who were separated uh, by President Trump's uh, last policy. Uh, that could be a million dollars to a family. Now, I, I have a real problem with that, Malcolm, and uh, it really concerns me because at this point right now, the Democrats are championing things like that. We need two parties. We need the yin, we need the yang. We need to have one side and the other side talking about problems and solutions, just the way we're talking about things now. And I cannot tell you I, because of COVID, we had to give up our small business. We're only living on social security and a very, very small pension. And we're going to get 5.1% increase, which is maybe a hundred dollars. Oh, social that. security, yeah, that's the biggest social security in. Well, $450,000 for all. Well, first of all, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. But secondly, I agree with you with that. That's outrageous. Thank I you. don't, uh, because number one, I don't see how people who have no money and poor will be able to manage four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, it's putting them all of a sudden. You know, what what do I do with it? Yeah. And not, number two, they're all not necessarily legally in this country. Yes. Oh, but by the way, they which I found interesting. Uh, 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 Biden is continuing. I think it's Title Forty Two. Okay. Which basically was put put in by the CDC. Right, that's saying that COVID is COVID, it was, and, and, we're, and we're still operating under that. So mm -hmm. really, people aren't coming in, and the people who are, uh, you know, they say it's an open border who who are walking through. Sixty, I think, or sixty-five percent are, uh, you know, deported. But then again, it's the same sixty, sixty-five percent who are coming in again. So it's not a yeah. whole group of other people. Yeah. It, well, it, we have a whole group of other people that the Panamanian, um, uh, I don't know who the person was, but she's from Panama. Uh, one of the government officials said, we have a huge group of, Panam of, of individuals, I don't think they're Panamanians, coming up from, from her border. I, I don't understand how this is supposed to help Americans, allowing folks to cross the border and essentially uh, butt their way out of line. I know a number of different immigrants who have spent five, six, seven years trying to get American citizenship. I, I don't think it should take that long, for heaven's sakes. That's well, absurd. Well, and well, the they, amount of yeah. money that it takes is absurd. It's, it, it's, it, it takes long. long. But what, what they don't have is there are people, it's called asylum. Right. There are people that uh, are afraid. They're, they're either, you know, politically, they're in, in danger or they're in danger because of uh, you know, gangs in their countries, and they're legitimately trying to get into this country. The problem right. is we do not have enough of the legal system for them to be heard in the courts. Mm -hmm. And, and, and we, we have to improve upon that and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and increase budgets because there should be a way of people coming in. Then the amnesty, I'm not sure whether it's the amnesty for people who've been here over a certain amount of years. I haven't heard uh, that is part of the uh, the plans. I do think the uh, uh, the dreamers should definitely mm -hmm. uh, be well, given I mean, citizenship. I think, those, I think those individuals have proven themselves. Right. And I do understand that President Biden had indicated the fact that among those quote unquote crimes that should not be considered to be crimes uh, committed by uh, uh, immigrants would be drunk driving. Excuse me. Drunk driving is a crime. If you kill someone, if you harm someone, it is a crime. Oh, I agree. The I... fact it was not a crime. What the devil is that all about? Well, well, that, well, undermines, that undermines the Democratic Party. It makes it look foolish. Uh, well, I, 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 I just want to know one thing. Uh, I know what the you know, the, I know what the progressive and the, the 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 conservative part of the Democratic stands for and what they want. What right. I don't know what they want and what program they would have for this country is the Republican Party. Because no Republican has come out and say, well, as no alternative to what's happening, I would like so-and-so to happen. And I have to agree. I, 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 I haven't heard from it. So, so right I now- I'm independent here. Yeah, right now we're only being ruled by one party that mm -hmm. has two different factions in that party. It's ruled by the Democratic Party who has two different mm -hmm. factions and they are trying to hash it out. The Republicans right. uh, you know, uh, with the, the minority leader aren't doing anything. They're, well, keep they're in mind, 
But keep in mind, my dear, they have been excluded from no, any no, of the no, hearings. No, 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 they haven't been excluded. They haven't been excluded. Uh, uh, yeah, President Biden has invited them to the White House as much as he done, done Republicans. The only well, thing I'm, that- I'm, they, saying, I'm saying the hearings in the House that Nancy Pelosi has excluded all of the Republicans. No, 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 no wait, the, the, well, no, the hearing for it, well, are you talking about the- uh, uh, I'm talking about hashing out this bill, the $1.7 the, oh. trillion dollar bill. No, the, the, uh, I, I beg to differ with you. The Republicans uh, with the, uh, uh, you know, the, their, their leader says, no, we're not gonna do anything with that. They have turned down any sort of, uh, they could go in the same way as, uh, you know, uh, uh, we're dealing let's, with let's mansion. Check, and... let's, let's check for our viewers on those facts, and we'll be back next week to okay. find out whether that's true. I've only, heard yeah, have been the, excluded. The, as I say, right now, the only thing that I could see is that the Democrats are trying to hash back a bill, which I think is very, very important. And I think that if people and you say, uh, oh, it's uh, you know, three point five trillion dollars. Number one, it, it's less than that right now, but it's over a ten-year period. And well, what they've done with accounting, and I, I'm a pretty good accountant here, what they've done is they've taken the period of 10 years and they brought it down to like two or three or four years. And that's how they've been able to reduce the cost from the 3.7 well, uh, down to the 1.7. Some, some of the programs, but mm -hmm. uh, the programs are very good for the people, for the middle class and for the poor. And the, 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 the rich folks, or what I call you know, the alpha personalities, they're gonna survive no matter what. If you take uh, uh, you know, uh, our billionaires, if you take two or $3 billion in taxes each year, so they'll only have $100 billion instead of $102 billion. Well, I do, uh, think, I do think that at this point right now, that the Democrats um, are on track to lose a tremendous amount of popularity. Let's look at the, uh, the Virginia, Situation. We have a a, a governor's race that is uh, coming into focus, and this is going to be on Tuesday. What's been interesting about it was that you had a neck and neck run between Yonkin, who's the Republican, and McAuliffe, who's the Democrat. Unfortunately, uh, Mr. Uh, McAuliffe uh, made a comment about the fact that parents should not be a part of uh, their students, their children's education. And I have to tell you, combined with the hearing of Merritt Garland, who is our attorney general, who apparently did not do any uh, outside investigation, but accepted the facts from the National School Board Association recently, uh, saying that parents could be deemed to be um, terrorists. I have to tell you that has awakened the sleeping giant of, of mothers. Now I unfortunately don't have any children, but I have to tell you, I had a visceral, visceral response to that. That means it's coming up from my gut. And that is not the sort of comment that you want to have from the attorney general's office. Right. And the well, attorney general's office said they're going to sick the, uh, the, the FBI plus a whole variety of different folks onto parents. You can't do that. Well, and unfortunately, what it does, Malcolm, it is it undermines the uh, the integrity of the Democratic Party. Yeah. You can't do things well, like well, that. Well, 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 verbiage and what they say is important, but I will listen. To, but I listen as you do. I listen to the news reports. I listen to both sides of the issue. Yeah. I, I do my Fox, the OAS, and the uh, sure. the, the news. Uh, I forget what it is. Which you know, and some of them, I, I really kind of I find it hard to stomach. Well, I think, could, I think could, it's could, important could, that, that you should listen to the actual hearing. I listened to the actual hearing of the attorney general, and I was stunned at his lack of concern, the lack of answers. And in fact, when he finally admitted the fact that they had done no outside research as to the alleged violence that the National School Board Association has alleged against parents, that he took on face value the letter which incidentally, the National School Board Association has now apologized saying the verbiage was wrong, but he did not do any outside okay, investigation well, before I, he wrote his memo. You well, don't I'm not, do that. I, I'm, I'm not necessarily uh, in his corner because there's certain things 
which I, uh, as, as he directs the DOJ to do, that he hasn't done. I think he should be much, much stronger. This I, I can't really comment on. But what I see is with these parents and the school board and other city officials, there has to be something done because the city officials, they and, and I've seen the various P, uh, school board members or city officials read some of the mail they get that threaten them and they threaten their children and they threaten them with violence. And I've heard well, that and, and the, the, something and has to that, be done and that's, with that. that's going too far. And then you, at that point right now, you get the local police involved into this. You do not uh, activate the FBI, the Department of Defense, the Department of Justice. You talk to the local police department you show them the letters and you go from there. But I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. To take care of it. Uh, yeah, but I'm not sure uh, unless there is a law that they're breaking or a national law that they're breaking, whether this would concern a local police force. That, okay. that I would have to say. But the thing is, there, you know, just as much as, as one side as, as, as maybe I don't agree mm -hmm. with them as far as the uh, uh, terrorists, but I know from the letters that I've heard read on the air mm -hmm. by the various officials. That is just disgusting. I think parents should be able to, you know, talk to board members, but Thank not you. threaten them. No, of course. I, not. I mean, the worst they could do is, okay, we'll take our kids out of school. Absolutely. That's the ultimate. Uh, but when they say, if you don't do this and you do that, we're going to kill you and your family, burn well, I mean, your house down. It, it's exactly like some of the threats that many of the Republican lawmakers are getting as well. And yeah, I, there is I, I, no place right. I, I, right. There, there's no civility in politics anymore. And part of it, I hate to bring back, was our previous four years of the civility of what there are, there are, are a person in the bully puppet uh, pulpit had four years ago and what he would say on the air, which I would never hear a president say. But anyway, well, that's beside the point. But the thing is, is beside the point. But, but, but going back to, uh, I think once the, they have the, the two bills passed mm -hmm. and it starts going into effect, there's going to be a much switch over to uh, you know, more popularity for Biden because what he's doing, the provisions of the bills are pro middle class, pro poor. Well, I mean, he, our, other, our other problem is this. There's no text. Did you realize that there is no text? I, I know there, there will be a text and they're doing it now. But the thing that, so, that uh, but, but the thing. How can you support something? And I know that that dear Speaker Nancy Pelosi said of the Obama health care bill, you'll have to pass it, then you can read it. Mm. I just think at this point right now, with as much spending as we're talking about, I don't want to be passing any bill before they no, go ahead. No, and no, what, 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 what they're doing it. They're, 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 they're breaking it out now. That was their, that was a big mistake. They, 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 were, they were talking about the huge numbers and they weren't talking about what the new huge numbers are going to be spent for. Mm -hmm. Now they're mm -hmm. finally getting down to it, which, which I think is at least a month too late. Well, I do think that the, the whole idea of, for example, tree equity is a little bit misplaced. Uh, I'm not really quite sure why we would be spending uh, millions of dollars on tree equity. But, what, 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 uh, what is said, tree I'll equity? Be interested, I'll, be, I'll be interested to see exactly what we're going to be spending this money on. I, I do think at this point right now, I, I am a little bit surprised um, that in, in a couple of cases that uh, the bill also targets small business owners. You and I know that, uh, as and I'm a small business owner, was a small business owner, and uh, the small business uh, owners make up about 60% of uh, the employment figures. And, and what's the uh, target then? Well, at this point right now, it looks like there's going to be new taxes. Uh, they're going to be exclude a number of the deductions for some of the small business owners. Such small as? Small business owners, when they get started, they need to have the ability to be able to expense the day that they buy something. They need to expense it. Now, in the good old days, quote unquote, when uh, my late husband, Tom, and I were doing taxes, you had to expense large things like computers, for example, over a 15 year period of time. And that made it very difficult. The changes in the tax law, because of the last administration, allowed you to make those purchases, for example, computers, and expense them the day and the, the, uh, the tax year that, that you accrued it. Very important stuff. Well, well, uh, Large corporations can handle it. Small companies can't handle it. They need to be able to 
expense those when they incur the expenses. Uh, let me read you some things that were was published in the Los Angeles Times this week about the this yesterday, actually today's paper. It has okay. 555 billion for clean energy and climate investment. Most of the funding, 320 billion, will go towards a 10-year expanded tax credits for clean energy, trans uh, transmission and stock and storage clean passenger and commercial vehicle and clean energy manufacturing. I think that's needed. Uh, okay, 400 billion for child care and preschool. For families for earning less than $300,000 per year, the child care portion would limit costs to no more than 7% of their income on children, on child care for children ages five and younger. To qualify, however, parents must be working seeking work or participating in education or training programs while making less than 2.5 times their state's me median income. I like the word working. Right, the preschool policy would provide uh, universal preschool for three to four year olds. Both policies would last six years. And with any, with any okay. hope, we won't have it as CRT so that we can go ahead and demonize white students and go ahead and be sorry for the black students. So well, hopefully we won't well, have well, 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 two years old being told that their whiteness is horrible. No, no, no we're not going, that's not part of it. I don't know. It, it, it's the, the thing is 800 billion for child tax and earned income tax credits. The money would extend for child tax credit up to $300 per month in tax cuts per child younger than six and 250 per month per child aged six to 17 for one year after more than 35 million households. The policy includes permanent refund refundability. The funding would also extend the, ex the, expend the expanded earned income tax credit for roughly 17 million uh, childless low wage earners. So now we're specifically hitting for the people who need it. Yes, which I think is a good idea because if you are childless, as we are both yeah. childless, you and me, I think it would be a good idea to include something. Right, okay. 150 billion for home care. The funding would permanently improve Medicaid coverage for home care services for seniors and people with disabilities. Good idea. Okay. Uh, 150 billion dollars for housing. The investment would go towards building more than 1 million affordable rental and single family homes, rental and down payment uh, assistance and public housing. Well, I do have to say, I do object to that because at this point right now, that uh, having uh, forcing uh, builders to do low income housing, I don't want any tenements for heaven's sakes. No, no, no. I, do think, I do think, I do think in my idea, and I'm going to Tim Scott with this, is we need to have opportunity zones not just for business, but for housing. And I do think it's a good idea. That's my little okay. idea you're gonna see. I'm gonna to go to Tim Scott about it. Okay, because, but, but let's have Tim on the show. But but I do think that that would be far more incentive. Uh, and, 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 and let's find out why Tim is not gonna vote with the Democrats. I know there's, why he's not there, gonna there's vote. Not one, there's not one Republican that's gonna vote on the Democrat, that would vote for the Democrats, why? The, the reason is, is because at this point right now, they're very concerned about the overall cost. And once again, I do believe that once we get things into text, we might actually uh, be able uh, to okay, say, okay, okay, I agree with this. I don't agree with that. Uh, okay, well, that, that, that's, that's what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. And he's been doing it. Yeah, that's what Biden's been doing with the, the Republicans don't even want to meet. No, no, anyway, no, no, no. Let, let me continue for a minute. 130 billion for Affordable Care Act credits. The funding would extend the expanded ACA premium tax credits from 2025 and make it available to 4 million uninsured people in uncovered states. In addition, so uh, reducing premiums for more than 9 million Americans by an average of $600 per year. Do you realize we are the only country that does not have really affordable health care for the uh, majority? And, and we're the only country that does not have paid, uh, you know, maternity leaves for both parents. Uh, well, we do, we do for Pete Buttigieg is what, was it two months for, uh, for his maternity yeah, leave? Yeah, is but it's, right? it's, it's, it's not paid. 
Okay, a million dollars, a million dollars, a million, a hundred billion for immigration. The money would go towards reforming the nation's immigration system to help reduce backlogs, expand legal representation, and make asylum system and border processing more humane and affluent. You have anything wrong with that? No, I would like to be able to see uh, individuals who want to come to this country, who want to participate, who renounce the citizenship of their prior uh, domicile and coming in and accepting American citizenship. Very, very important. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, uh, 80 billion for equity and other investments. Investments include rural partnership program to empower rural regions, which include tribal nations and territories with funding for local led projects. Other investment targets include uh, maternal health, community violence uh, initiatives, native communities, disadvantaged farms, nutrition, pandemic preparation and supply chain re uh, resilience. $400 billion for higher education and workforce. The uh, framework would increase the maxim maximum Pell Grant by $550 for more than 5 million students and expand access to dreamers. In addition to making investment in historically black colleges and universities, okay. tribal colleges and universities and minority serving institutions, the framing would also help across in quality training such as community college workforce programs. Well, I, I love the, the LA Times, but once again, uh, where did they get the text? Because the Democrats don't even have the text. No, no, no uh, but they've been working this out in the last few weeks. Well, they don't have any text, Malcolm. There's no text. So I don't understand. Nancy uh, okay. Pelosi called for a vote yesterday on what? Basic ideas? I, I don't I don't understand well, 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 it. Well, Pelosi won't call for a vote until uh, she knows that she's going to get well, the vote. Well, she called for a vote and then she decided not to go for a vote. For That's, 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 that's because yeah. she didn't. She, uh, she, uh, she called for the vote and decided not to because she doesn't have the vote. Well, I have she, to. She, she's not going to be defeated. I also have to remind you that there is also something in there that it's called a home energy tax. And do you realize that that home energy tax that's going to impact you, it's going to impact me. Um, I have heard that it could be $240 per month. Now, I don't know about you, but I, 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 Carolina, let me explain here in South Carolina, it is getting cold and we do go down into the thirties. And what we've decided to do is we are no longer using our forced air heater to be able to save money. We're using individual units. In fact, you can see one back over here, one of these little Dyson units that we have. And we only have the room that we're in to be heated. Now, we want to conserve energy. I want to conserve money because I'm the accountant in the family. But that concerns me. It's those little digs at the middle class that costs no, 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 to, 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 with an extra two hundred and forty dollars per month is going to be a real problem. No, no, no two hundred. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know where you're getting your information. I haven't seen it, but I, I doubt whether that's going to go up two hundred and forty dollars per month because most of the programs that I've been, uh, uh, you know, reading off what they do is for the benefit of the middle class. Well, you know, the problem, I, there, there's so much misinformation out there. I, I agree with you. Things have to be written down, but there's so much misinformation out there. And I think as a whole, the program looks very good. And well, the program I, is going to create the, money. The problem that I have at this point right now, we were fooled once by Speaker Pelosi when she said on the, the health care, the Obamacare, you're going to have to pass it, then you can read it. Um, I think that's treating Americans like children, and I'm sick of it. I'm tired of being lied to. Uh, I am tired that Joe Biden wanted to have this passed because he wanted to go show it off to his buddies at the G12 or G7 or whatever the heck he's the going G20, on to. I, but, but I, I, don't, I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate the fact that they're contemplating $450,000 for people who came here illegally. Well, I, well this is not- Should I, I, I renounce I, my citizenship and then go down to Mexico and come in because of supposedly is a closed border, but it's not a closed border. No, it, 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 it's a, millions it's a, of people to come through. It, no, they're not, they're not allowing it. it, it it's, how the, does it benefit the, us? The people crossing are illegal. 
and and mm -hmm. most of them are you know a good sixty percent are being sent back and coming back again. But anyway, well, that, that's another issue. But, but then, one point seven million last month alone. But, but, yeah, but how, how how many are reentries? I don't think the one point seven million that came in stay in when they deport sixty percent who come back in. Well, but the, I, the, 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 I mean, my only question in all this, I think the money, uh, you know, what they, what they want to spending is uh, again is good. I think we're the only country. Uh, and, and they were doing again. I, uh, maybe I'm watching. You know, this was a uh, you know I heard on, on on MSNBC, but they did a map of the only country does not have certain benefits for the people for people. Uh, you know, uh, child care, for uh, you know time off when they have children, and uh, all the other countries, the, the the major countries, who are as rich as we are, and we are a rich country. Mm -hmm. and, well, and and there's no reason. And there's no reason that the I and think that's too much of a broad brush. And there's and no I, reason that the cinema should say, I don't want to, to ha have a super rich tax. There's no reason that someone who is paying, a, who, who is a billionaire, cannot give more than their fair share without hurting them and their lifestyle. Well, I it could, has surprised me that Jeff Bezos has not volunteered to go ahead. And, because you realize that when you pay your taxes, you can go ahead and say, let me give a million to two million dollars. Oh, all America. right. Well, all, all of them can say it. But, 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 the, but the questionnaire, the question is, I don't think they should be say it. I think they should be required to do it. Right. I, I think I, the I, Amazon the world should be paying taxes. The corporations, <laughs> there shouldn't be, oh, they're, they'll move out of the United States. They're not going to move out of the United States. They're not going to foreign countries. I don't know enough about these corporations not paying taxes. I do remember that when I was working with my late husband, Tom, that in many cases, the uh, the investment, rather than paying taxes, the investment went into uh, R&D, research and development. It went into uh, building new factories and what have you. And you were given a, a tax credit, a tax write-off. Uh, right. But essentially, you would not be paying any taxes, right, but it had to be invested into something. Right, but when they had that big tax cut for the corporations, uh, you know, during the Trump administration, they said, oh, they're going to invest that money, that profit money that they make back into reinvestments in the company and building. What they did is they gave that money back to the stockholders and increased the, uh, you know, the executive vice presidents. Uh, they are the, C the CEOs. They, uh, they increased their salary. So now they're making, instead of making 5 billion, they're making 10 billion. It did not well, go you know, back into the company. You know, what, you know what the comeuppance is at this point right now? <laughs> people have a lot of money and people are now quitting jobs that they no longer feel as though they are being treated correctly and nicely by their employer. I think it's grand. I know that when I had my small company, Great Western Capital, uh, the uh, average uh, payment per hour was $9. I paid my people $20 an hour. I gave them profit sharing, what have you. Bottom line was, I wanted deliriously happy employees, and I got them, and I did very, very well. well, well, well you, 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 were, you were a wise business person. That what's happening now is because of COVID, that now employees are in the driver's seat, which I, I think is fabulous yeah. because they're leaving companies that are not appreciating them and these companies better rise up because otherwise they are going to continue to have a, a labor shortage now i know that they can get artificial intelligence and robots and blah 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 and all of that but they cannot in some cases in many cases replace a human being no, no, so no, no, at this no, point no. right now employees go get them yeah not, not the service okay, under that note <laughs> We're out of time. We are. Yep. Well, we had a good conversation, did we not? I think we did. I know we did. I know now, we did. T t t tell your friends about us. Will do. And tell your friends about us. And also with you, all, all your uh, uh, you know, contacts, promote the show. Tell us, do on Facebook, do the show. You, know, you, you, you see, I send it out on Facebook. I'm going to. And the other thing, too, is we're going to experiment with this new Facebook portal. I guess we can't call it Facebook anymore. It's called Meta, Meta, yeah. <laughs> they changed their name. Meta. At any rate, I got the new Portal Go, which will be very interesting. We'll see whether or not we can actually have us on the road 
talking to folks here in, uh, yeah. in South uh, Carolina. Uh, uh, by, by the way, they, they didn't change, they change a corporate name, but I think they're going to still be called Facebook. I hope so. Meta doesn't really roll off your tongue. No, no. So. I, I think the corporate name is going to be that, but Facebook will be the, the, the usage. Name. Anyway, there. you guys have, have a fantastic turkey. Yes, and happy Thank Halloween you. to everyone. And happy Halloween. And okay. uh, I'll get out of my costume soon. Oh, Bye. <laughs> my, best, my best to Anna. <laughs> Bye-bye. And I've got to end. <laughs>